Carrie Underwood's moving out of Nashville neighborhood due to security issues after nasty fall. Carrie Underwood suffered a nasty fall last year that led to more than 40 stitches on her face. And after the freak accident happened, the 35-year-old singer started having problems with security in her Nashville neighborhood, a source told People. So the country singer and her husband are allegedly looking for a new home in Tennessee. The couple live in a two-story home on several acres in a quiet gated neighborhood in Nashville. They are completely done with the neighborhood. The decision came after her fall, the source said. It appears as if neighbors could have been letting certain people into the neighborhood to get a look at Carrie's face after the accident. It was suggested. Overall, there is a general feeling that there is not enough security, it was added. They've been having a lot of issues with neighbors letting people in the community to look around and it all escalated after the fall, the source explained. She fell in November at her home when she was about to take her dogs on a walk. Not only did she have 40 to 50 stitches to her face, but she broke her wrist. This comes the day after she sat down with Hoda Kotb, 53, during an interview on the Today Show on Thursday morning. She was asked what happened on that November day. Plain and simple it was kind of a freak accident. Carrie told Hoda, I just fell, I just tripped taking my dogs out to do their business. It could have happened to anybody. I say, if I had fallen anywhere else, it wouldn't have been a problem, but there was just one little step that I went to catch myself on and I missed. She did not show her full face for several months, posting instead partial selfies including a photo of her with a thick scarf wrapped around her head. It wasn't until her performance at the, the 53rd Academy of Country Music Awards, which took place in April of this year in Las Vegas, that Carrie showed her entire face again. While the star had told her fans that she might look different after the accident, she had only minimal scarring visible when she took to the stage, and appeared as glamorous as ever as she sang in public for the first time since her fall. However, she told Hoda in Thursday's interview that there was a time she wasn't sure she would ever look the same again. In the beginning, I feel like, you know, I didn't know how things were going to end up, she said. It just wasn't pretty. When the fall happened, Carrie was by herself, while her three-year-old son Isaiah was asleep upstairs in their home. Despite the ordeal, Hoda told the singer she thinks Carrie still looks exactly like herself, to which Carrie replied, thank you. I have a dedicated team of professionals who can spackle and paint and paste. She laughed and added, no. Thank you. Every day I feel a little more back to normal. On the Today Show on Thursday, Carrie and Hoda also shared where they go when they're having a tough time and just need a good cry. I go to the bathroom, Hoda said. Like, I literally go into the bathroom, because there's no other escape hatch. As for Carrie, she explained that her car is usually where she goes when she feels she's about to shed a few tears. I feel like you just feel like, she said, gesturing to indicate an isolated space, which, I know people can still see you and they probably have seen me at a stoplight or something and will be, like, what's this crazy lady doing over there? The singer also received a touching message from her mother Carol ahead of Mother's Day. She's a great mom, Carol told Hoda of Carrie. She's a great daughter, she's a great person and I just want her to always be that way. And I love her.